Hey everyone, this is going to be a quick video where I go through the process that I followed to improve the sound of my Klipsch KG4 speakers. Now these things sound pretty fantastic. I listened to them bi amped through the Symphonic IKEA amplifier, so they're a Sonos speaker, they're bi amped. Uh, but I did notice that there is a little bit of harshness when you turn it up and I wanted to make that better. So there are ways to really improve the high end of these speakers and it's really, really easy. So if we take a look around, this is the driver of the horn here. It's a one inch driver. And uh, so what I did is I ordered a pair of replacement diaphragms from Bob Kreitz. He, if you're not familiar with him, is a really, really big name in the Eclipse community. He offers lots of upgrades and replacement parts for various clip speakers. And he's a super nice guy. He got these things shipped out in just a couple of days and they're really nicely packaged in these little plastic containers. And all you really got to do is take these three bolts that connect the horn to the magnet assembly, super easy. And then you can just lift out the factory diaphragm. So you just pull it up very, very carefully in a straight line. You don't want it rubbing against the voice coil. Uh, you can get a close-up of what that diaphragm looks like. Um, so it's sort of like a treated material. Uh, I think it's a treated uh, fabric. And this is it compared to the new Kreitz titanium drivers. And these drivers look fantastic. They're really, really well made. You just got to be careful that you don't touch them. And installing these is super easy. You just take them you notice that there's three slightly larger holes and those correspond to the bolts that are coming out of the magnet structure. You really just line those things up, drop it into place really, really carefully, really evenly, bolt it back together and you're back in business. So if you're afraid of doing this, don't be. It's very, very easy. You just have to be careful. It only took me a few minutes. And on his site, he has some really good step-by-step -step instructions. So no stress there. Uh, one thing that threw me off is my uh, tweeters did have ferrofluid, so that if you see some brown goo, just leave it alone. Just swap the diaphragms and call it a day. While I had the horns out, I wanted to take a look at them because, holy smokes, these things are really, really junky, thin plastic. I was very unimpressed by these things. And as I was tapping on them, I was hearing a lot of resonances. So I decided to go ahead and add a little bit of mass to these things so that they would sound better and there would be much less ringing going on. So uh, what I did is I just really wanted to add mass. So I had some heavy washers and I had some metallic tape that was just kind of heavy. So I put all those onto the drivers. I taped that down so there's no vibration. And obviously I used some foam tape in between those materials and the horn itself so there would be no vibration there. So you can see here, this is the finished product. Uh, you could use any sort of dampening material, like all the things that they use in car stereos will work great here. And uh, I thought I'd do a little comparison of how these things sound. So I think you can probably tell which is which. This is the untreated. And that's the treated. And no, I'm not hitting the treated one less hard. It's really just how much it rings. It really hurts my ears. And we'll switch around and try this with a metal side. So yeah, this makes a really big difference. So putting everything back together again, I would say overall, I'm really, really happy with this upgrade. It only took maybe 40 minutes to pull together and these speakers are way smoother. Uh, I can turn them up a lot louder and there's not really that harshness anymore. And there's definitely a lot more detail too. So I feel like the highs are extended, they're smoother and they're just overall a much nicer, more hi-fi kind of sound. So. Yeah, this is a highly recommended upgrade. Real easy, real inexpensive, and will make a really big difference. All right, well, that's it for this video. We're gonna keep it short and sweet. Be sure to subscribe. I'm going to be doing a couple more videos on these clip speakers, lots of upgrades ahead. So uh, thanks for watching.